When playing close to the sun for the very first time, one of the most dramatic things you'll encounter early on is a ship, but not just any ship. The Helios is bigger than any ocean liner ever built and is an immediate visual representation of Tesla's power and influence in our alternate take on history. Completed in 1890, just 15 years after the Statue of Liberty and 21 years before the ill-fated Titanic, the Helios is not only a prominent display of power, but also of Tesla's extravagance and narcissism. It's covered in gold and exuberant art deco charm. Even the name the Helios is from the ancient Greek word for the sun and reveals Tesla's view of himself as the Prometheus of his era. When designing the Helios, we were really aiming for a conflicting sense of both grandeur and isolation. Exploring such an enormous ship could seem like a marvelous adventure, but what would happen if something went wrong? then a ship, even the most secure and wondrous in the world, would become a trap, stranded from civilization with no rescue or easy escape. Tesla had an incredible mind with all the outlandish ideas that go with it, from X-ray tech to earthquake machines. He was a firm believer in science through practical experimentation, but their requirements soon began posing real dangers to the public. Thus, the need for both safety and secrecy, the Helios became a new home for Tesla and other like-minded souls. Cruising through international waters, the ship became a free haven of scientific research, free from state control and Edison spies. Or so Tesla had hoped. You can't run from my road.